Um, Our cat is snoring. Yeah. <laughs> we can hear it all the way from here. So what was I saying? Hi friends and welcome to Why vs. World. I'm Jackie. I'm Anya. And today we want to talk about a question we got a while back that made us ponder. So the question was, do we feel like we missed out on things by getting together so young? So for those of you who don't know us, we've been together since 2008, so 13 years this year. Um, and we got together when I was just 15 and Jackie was 17. We've been together from quite a young age. Some might say we've kind of grown up together. Exactly. So I think this is a very natural question and it's kind of interesting to explore. So do you feel like you missed out? Um, I think... Um, and I, I guess this goes for the both of us because when we got together, we were both very, very flirty teenagers. Um, we loved going to parties and hook up with... Getting to know people. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, like a kiss was a handshake, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and we enjoyed that a lot. Um, That's we, how we met. <laughs> yeah, that is how we, we met. And I think um, we could have dated a lot of different people if we didn't have such a steady relationship at such a young age. Mm. And I think some of that could have been fun as well. It definitely would have led to a lot of heartbreak and a lot of, I guess, terrible situations. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> maybe. And maybe more more regret <laughs> than, than the other way around. Mm. Um, but it's, it's also some experiences that we'll never get. We'll never have the experience of being single ever in our adult life, I yeah. guess. And of course that's fine, <laughs> but it is something that we've missed out on. I think I'd have to agree with you on all that you said. Like, yeah, definitely flirty teenager could have gotten with so many different people, <laughs> potentially if they'd want me. Uh, but I also think like for me personally, uh, I, 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 was, uh, I was playing in a band back when we got together and I could see myself like if i did not have a girlfriend at the time i or a boyfriend i i could i could have seen myself maybe taking the band thing a bit more seriously maybe to this day i would have been like very very into music like touring maybe just denmark maybe europe sleeping on couches and just living the sweet rock and roll life I don't know, I guess everyone says that when they pass 30, <laughs> I don't know. Like potentially I could have also just like left Denmark after my degree because I really thought after I took my, my whole bachelor's and master's, uh, a substantial part of that was like Japanese, like language, culture, whatever, and, and, and business. And I really thought at some point that, oh, shit, I was gonna use that for, uh, for something, you know? So maybe I would have just left Denmark, moved to somewhere in Japan and, and, and started life there if I didn't have something as strong as our love to tether me to Copenhagen. <laughs> Which is kind of like, that's, that's a weird thought. Maybe I would have been somewhere completely different away from everything. It's a kind of scary thought. I think like so, it's yeah. It's a very parallel timeline to look at. And that's something that scares you a yeah, lot. Yeah, it scares me so much. I hate, I hate different timelines. Like me, I'm just head empty, no thoughts. I'm just gonna, <laughs> well, let's make a decision, keep going from there. We live with the consequences. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh no, a fork in the road. Yeah. Two e equally possible futures. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe I, maybe I wouldn't have transit. Like maybe I would have postponed my transition or I, or maybe I wouldn't have had the guts to go through with it. I would have maybe just abandoned it all together if I didn't have you to, to you know, help me out and, and, and give me the strength that I needed. So you're saying I'm the reason you're trans? I don't think that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think... <laughs> no, I think I am thanking you for being there and being the, the pillar of support that I Aww. needed to do something that was uh, the right thing to do. At the time that we got together, I also had a lot of uh, solo hobbies. Mm. Um, I, I was drawing a lot and writing and stuff like that. And I think that both of us, a lot of those solo activities were kind of uh, shelved to have all this lovely, lovely couple time. 
um, that we've enjoyed through all of the years. Mm -hmm. And I guess both of us missed out on a lot of time with our hobbies through some defining years that could have made us even more skilled in each of our disciplines. But I also think like at the time we got together, our like study life was just yeah. about to start. So yeah. we had to, I don't know, use like 40 plus hours yeah. in schoolwork every week. That takes a bit of your time as well. Yeah, exactly. Because we've tried this when we haven't had each other for some periods of time. Even if you have had a busy week, you come home, your house is empty, you have nothing to do for the night. You have already watched all the shows or whatever. I don't know, you just, you come home and you're just so bored, you know? You know that feeling. <clears throat> yeah. And that's nothing to do and you don't have that just lying down beside your partner and chill out. You need to occupy yourself. So you delve into your hobbies. Every time you haven't been at home, I've like fi found ways to occupy myself. And I think that's also how some skill is developed and stuff like that. Because when we're together, we have to actively agree to take time apart, I guess, to mm. work on our skills and our hobbies. I also think that maybe, I don't know, but we, we never got to be independent people. We, What's that supposed to mean? We never, we have never lived as uh, independent people, no. as adults. No, we've lived as codependent people. <laughs> Basically, and I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing necessarily. We would have been quite different people if we had had more time to develop on our own. Because we have developed so much together and mm. we're very, we have a very strong relationship because of oh, that. Oh yeah. And I'm very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like the fact that I'm terrible at making sure I eat <laughs> by myself. I hate eating, I hate cooking, I hate everything. And who's to say, maybe I would have gotten better at that if I had to. If I had to live on my own and had to take care of myself in that way. And maybe. On the other hand, maybe you would actually have gained a sense of cleaning. <laughs> you keep bringing that up. <laughs> It's because it's a bit true. Yeah, I yeah. guess. I okay. suppose. So that was a bit of a light roasting here as well. <laughs> also a bit of a tangent, sorry. But I, like, at the end of the day, I think there's also like, it's something that's so interesting to talk about and like think about like, <laughs> what could have happened? Mm. How could we have been different people? But like at the end of the day, I think that I'm truly living in the best of all possible worlds. Like. I don't, I don't see myself in any situation where I would have been happier. And I think that's, I think that's really valuable because like, I know many, many people will feel like they're not where they want to be, or they don't have the capabilities that they, uh, they need or the skills. Don't worry, this is not an ad for Skillshare. Um, <laughs> like, but they, they, they might have come to a, a, a place that feels like a terminus and I'm just in this moment with you thinking well if i could have anything in the world i would kind of just want what we have right now i wouldn't have traded any of those experiences for what we've had the past 13 years no me neither and i'm very happy about that but it is fun to think about that we would have been wildly different people and in wildly different places mm. if we hadn't had each other and had helped each other to grow, I think. Who knows how many more like marshmallows we would have roasted. <laughs> do, do, you, do any of you guys have this experience? Where would you have been without your partner? Do you ever feel like you missed out on something by being together with your partner from a young age? Or maybe something completely different if you yeah. had gone to a different school or gone without other career option or whatever. Exactly. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a comment or a like or both. Why not both? You should leave both. <laughs> and if you're not already subscribed, consider doing it or sharing it with your friends because like the more the merrier, right? Sure. Let's be codependent together. No. <laughs> <laughs> All of us. Let's do it. Let's not do it. Okay. Well, if you want more of us, you can find us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed this video and <laughs> we hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.